uh, I'm going to first tell you what I would say. Please. You know, uh, debt to equity is about solvency and flexibility financially. It's a choice. Leverage is inherently evil. But if I asked again, we had uh, Ascotti or Arizona. I don't know what Ascotti is, Arizona. But he was asking us balance sheets. Again, Daniel, I would ask you to think about your own personal situation. You know, if I say, how did you capitalize your house? What I'm asking is how much equity did you put in the house and how much did you borrow? And if you, you know, let's say we both own track homes in the same neighborhood and Brian and I both paid 500 grand and I say I paid cash and Brian said he put down uh, five grand, right? So his home is very leveraged and he's going to have either make a lot of money or lose a lot of money. Price to book is about value investing. And Daniel, if you put price to book in the search bar, you will see me go over price to book on a balance sheet. It's in that fundamental analysis uh, lecture replay that I'm going to put in the video description. Uh, Brian, uh, what would you say about those two things? You know, <clears throat> the debt to equity and the liquidity ratios, if you've been through the 65, 66, you should know those, right? The current mm -hmm. ratio, the quick ratio, also known as the acid test. Notice there's kind of a, a little theme running through here. When we analyze a company, before we buy their bonds or their stocks, we want to find out how leveraged, how much debt does the company have? And are they able to pay off their short-term obligations? That's really what it's all about. Leverage and the ability to pay their short-term obligations. That's why these ratios are so important. The debt to equity ratio, right? How leveraged, how much have they borrowed? I can use a perfect example of this. I don't know. I don't want to get political on any of that stuff. <clears throat> but I know someone who bought a casino in Atlantic City, <laughs> $750 million with 15% junk bonds. Casinos don't make 15% net profit. In other words, they were so highly leveraged that most analysts knew it was going to fail and it eventually did and went bankrupt and those sorts of things. So when we analyze company, we're looking for leverage or their ability to pay their short-term obligations. And, it could, be, are, and yeah. it could be a conscious choice, Daniel, to, to be leveraged. is could, could be a conscious decision. That means you're going to make money twice as fast. You're going to lose money twice as fast. I would know that when we talk about corporations, there's no such thing as a corporation that hasn't capitalized itself through the issuance of common stock. Right. And that could be it. That would be a very simple capital structure. But most corporations might capitalize themselves with both equity and debt. And then again, as Brian said, the debt becomes a, a potential problem. Uh, I always, Brian, use Toys R Us. Is it hard to sell toys in competition with Walmart and Amazon? Absolutely. Yeah. But it doesn't help that you have $10 billion of debt on your balance sheet, which means you got to sell a lot more to toys. That's Same thing Brian said about gambling, right? I mean, this, yeah. to service $10 billion of debt. That's a lot of, uh, you know, choo-choo trains or whatever it is kids buy nowadays, right? Lego. Or... That's right. And that's really what they're looking for with those balance sheets is the analysis of these companies. Fundamental analysis. So to yeah. say you're a fundamentalist does not mean you're a member of the religious right. It means that you're somebody who looks at either the economy, the industry, then the stock, or the stock, the industry, the economy, either bottom up or top down. And that's a value kind of a system. So price to book, by the way, Daniel, is about valuation. You know, we have all kinds of different valuations. We have discounted cash flow, price to book, book value. Uh, the one I think uh, recently, Daniel, that I uh, struck me was uh, banks that trade pretty close to price to book. For example, uh, JP Morgan uh, trades at about 1.4 times price to book. Bank of America, about 1.2. Citigroup, 60% price to book. Wow. That means that Citigroup is worth more dead, Daniel, than it is alive. <laughs> right. And uh, the guy who's a value investor was buying Citigroup saying if this new CEO, I think she's relatively new, if she can just get it to 80 percent of book, that would be a huge improvement in the stock price. So, again, margin of safety.